right, you're live. Hey, good morning. Happy Thursday. I'm here with the MCC crew. So excited to have you guys here. It's good to be excited here. to be here. We have Caitlin Morris. She's the high school recruiter for Bullhead City area. And Darren Anderson, he's the student admission recruiter for the Bullhead City area. Yes. So I personally had some questions about how do I get my, call, my high school kids involved in the classes that they can receive for free and kind of start to build, you know, their own um, tools and what colleges and what's required and uh, so that got me to Caitlin <laughs> and then that got everybody here so welcome to the show thanks we're excited to be here definitely yeah. I would love to hear a little bit about how you guys you know kind of became um, MCC representatives yeah um, well I um, actually went to MCC I graduated with my associate's degree in 2015 um, went and got my bachelor's degree at ASU and then I was like I want to come back I loved MCC I love being there <laughs> um, I love being there I loved um, you know the environment I always wanted to work there um, so I came back and um, this position was available and I absolutely love it I love working with the high school students I love um, just helping them find a path get a path and even if they don't know their path like I get them there get them into classes see what they like and then um, just love the interaction with them I love helping them so nice and so easy to get a hold of as well. Thank um, you. I mean, very, <laughs> I <really try. laughs> yeah, great at communicating. You know, as parents, you kind of get a little like nervous and want to control what's happening, and you <laughs> simply say, like, sorry, this is for them to control, not you. <laughs> you <laughs> it, have it's to lovely. release it. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but we kind of went and had some time with you and got to sit with our boys. And um, so it was nice, honestly for you to take that lead and kind of say like, hey parents, like we're glad that you're here and you want to know, but the truth of the matter is, is like this is their journey and their step. Yeah, I remember talking to you guys and I was like looking at the kids and mm -hmm. you were like, I'm like hello, hello, <laughs> like, me over here? Sorry. The I controlling have to, mom. <laughs> I have to talk to them. They are the ones that are making the decisions. I don't want them to do anything that they're not comfortable doing. And yeah. I want to make sure I give them all the information. Sometimes I give too much and they're like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, it was so great and so nice. Thank you. I'm glad you guys um, got the information that you needed and be able to step forward so yes well I started uh, my MCC routine I was uh, working on going to a bachelor so I finished out the uh, credits that I needed a while back and then I progressed on to NAU and got my bachelor's in humanities and nice. then I turned around and I was able to get hired in and it's it's very exciting uh, being former military and trying to reach out to the adult community and pull them back for people that think no I'm too old I can't do this I was in my 40s when I got my bachelor's degree so it's not too late you Never can do this mm -hmm. there's definitely uh, there's all the opportunities you need to succeed and there's plenty of people out there to help you so to the 40, 45 year old man, woman, what would you say is your first step of just getting through the door, I assume? First step is just coming in and doing an application and seeing what's out there, seeing uh, you know, you've had time to think about your life and think about where you wanted to go with it. And yeah. it definitely sitting down with a recruiter and then an academic advisor, you can figure out that plan and see where you're gonna go. At the very least, you know, you can lead to a promotion within the job that you're in. Yeah very exciting I mean you kind of sometimes feel like oh, okay I'm just stuck in this you know space of life but the truth of the matter is is just like we encourage our children you know to want bigger want better strive for more yes it's never yeah. too late for us. We need, yeah we need late. to remember we can do that too yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not we limited can, that's right mm -hmm. yes we have a lot to go over today. There's so much going on at MCC, Mojave Community College, the Bighorn Soccer. I mean, it's just never ending <laughs> with you guys. We have a little introduction video. I thought we would kind of start there. Our admissions video. Mojave Community College is consistently chosen as one of the best in the country. And that award-winning education is a big reason that research shows an MCC graduate earns $725,000 more in their life than a person with only a high school diploma. Here at Mojave Community College, you'll find affordable online and on-campus classes that fit your schedule. And we have more than 80 degree and certificate options to help you improve your life. That's what we're all about. We're about improving the lives of the individual student who walks through that door, and that's through the support function, that's through uh, faculty who really do care about their success in the classroom, and it's about improving their life after they graduate. Whether you want to go to a university for a bachelor's degree or jump right into the workforce, 
MCC is where you want to start. We have many different opportunities to allow anybody uh, to be able to come on and say, hey, if I take this, I can go on and actually earn more money, assist and better my life, better my family's life. Just check out your class to career options designed to get you in a career that's in demand in our community and many others. Auto collision repair, engine repair, computer technician, culinary, electrician, firefighter, heating and air conditioning, substance abuse counseling, welding, truck driving. We also have nursing, dental, surgical technology, radiologic technology, paramedic, physical therapist assistant, medical assistant, healthcare information technician. And you could also earn an associate degree in just two years in general education like art business, chemistry, education, engineering, English, math, the sciences, and more. <laughs> All designed for success at work and for transferring to our university partners as a junior to finish your bachelor's degree. And speaking of that, listen to this. Students from Mojave Community College actually have a higher success rate of completing a four-year degree than if they started at a four-year institution. And we're even above the national average when it comes to that. So we're a great starting point with great faculty and student support. Um, our students are getting a great education and it's helping them being able to go on, complete a four-year degree at a higher rate than their peers who just would have went on straight on to a four-year institution. We know the whole college process at first may seem overwhelming. We've been there too. That's why our team is here now to help you every step of the way. Everybody is very well trained and understand that we want to provide a, a culture of care for that each and every individual student that walks through our doors. And our graduates know the value of community. The college alumni alone generate nearly $191 million in additional regional income each year and that student success goes hand in hand with the college efforts to improve our communities. It's about us being um, on the front line with many, whether it be county um, elected officials, city elected officials, to economic development agencies, to chambers, to industry leaders, to education leaders at the K through 12 system, whatever we can do to partner with them to make this a better place uh, for the citizens of Mojave County as an educational institution, as helping them with um, getting students in and getting more trained to be able to fill the workforce need. That's what it's about, about improving the community. says at the end of the video it says so our vision is um, improving lives improving communities and bridging that the possibilities of purpose and prosperity so what Dr. Klippenstein talks about in the video is like achieving a good degree and a certificate at MCC and leading to success in the workforce but it also returns um, profit to our community you know um, advancement in our community and a greater connection in our community yeah. um, and that's really what MCC is all about um, if you go to our view book I wanted to show our other our four campuses we have four campuses I don't know if you guys knew that didn't know that <laughs> yeah um, one more I believe yeah, right there. Um, so we have Bullhead City, of course, where we are. Um, we have Kingman, which is our main campus, um, Lake Havasu City, which is our other campus, and then North Mojave, which you can see on the map, it's like way up there. <laughs> They're beautiful campuses. Um, we have lots of different um, opportunities at each campus. Each campus is kind of specific to, or has their own little um, thing that they're little great, niche great yeah little niche thank you um, about so Bullhead City has um, auto service auto collision culinary um, rad tech is also at um, the Bullhead City campus so um, we're really excited about all the things that we can offer to our students in these communities yeah well, and it looks like, I mean, kind of what you want to do in life, there's a space for you. Yes, absolutely. Depending absolutely. on, you know, what you want and what area you want to kind yes, of venture out yes, to. Yes, absolutely. It's nice to know that your journey doesn't have to be here just in town to stick with MCC. No, yeah, you can expand. There's several options and opportunities amongst all the campuses. Yeah, very cool. There's so much information in that one video. <laughs> I'm a little speechless right now. Sign me up. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, like we were talking about before, when we're ready to go. We're pumped. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so we also have um, our welding video. Um, we're going to show 
our welding video for our welding program. Um, Sometimes you feel like the trades are kind of a lost art, so it's nice yes. that you... It's nice that we're getting back into that. Uh, I think that manufacturing and, and very, the various tech fields are important, and yeah. it's nice to see that, I guess, rediscovery or recognition of it and getting more attention to it. Yeah, agreed. Mojave Community oh, College. That's auto technology or auto college. service. For automotive collision repair. The instructor is very cool. It's just oh, a great go. program. <laughs> and when I signed it with 180 grip, I don't want to damage the back light. From the shop. I can almost find a career for everybody in this. To the classroom. Program director Richie Mittens is one of the tri-state region's best and most well-respected auto collision repair experts. It, it's more than just coming here and learning how to do body work and paint a, paint a fender or paint a car. Uh, we do business management classes. I teach estimating. I have a lot of students that get out of this, never even get dirty. They write estimates for vehicles, um, which, which is a huge other path that people don't even understand in this career. And when it comes to the latest technology being used in shops right now, Mittens has it covered. Up-to-date facility. At least twice a year, I'm updating equipment and tools just to stay on top of our ever-changing industry. It's very fun. There's never a day I don't want to come to class not even like a classroom environment. We all just treat each other like family. Really, truly getting an education at the same time so that you can stand on your own at any shop. Army veteran Deuce Brand. The school itself is really great to veterans. Was working in an auto shop when she realized something. I was enjoying building custom motorcycles and um, just we were given all the money to the painters. <laughs> and so I wanted to learn some about painting and the professor here, Richie, is an amazing, well-known painter and so I joined the collision program. I want to work myself all the way up to eventually own a body shop. You get all the certifications for completing this class and that looks good to have on a resume when you're trying to get a job out there in the industry. And MCC students are well prepared to hit the workforce in two years. For some, even sooner, thanks to MCC's competency-based education program called CBE. The nice thing with the CBE program, which is, which is definitely cutting edge, is that you're not required to show up here every day to do your work. Great for people with families, jobs, and busy schedules. You study on your own and then come in and prove you know the skills. So I might have a couple different students on different parts of the program at different times. One might be on painting, one might be on prep, one might be on welding. Um, the nice thing with that is everybody can move at kind of their own pace. They're still required to all do the same work. They're still required to produce the same quality of work. They can just do it a little more on their time or when it's convenient for them. And talk about value. The return on your investment here is another reason <laughs> MCC's auto collision repair program is turning heads. Very cost effective. You won't be in debt for the rest of your life. You're going to learn a trade that's going to stick with you for the rest of your life. And therefore, you're always going to be able to make money with the knowledge that you've learned in this program. Love our instructors. Yeah, <laughs> so that was the automotive one. That was automotive collision. That's yes, really we have automotive cool. collision and automotive um, service. So advanced service, basic, basic service. Um, but yeah, the instructors there are just fantastic. I know he looks fun. I want to go hang out. With him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fun guy. He's a fun guy. Um, we have we have lots of videos. We're going to show the videos. We're excited about the videos because our instructors spend a lot of time putting effort in. Um, our OCC, our communication, our college communications puts a lot of um, stuff in If you want a career repairing cars and trucks, or you just want to learn how to fix your own vehicle, MCC's automotive service technology programs for you. What better place to learn? You can go to a college that has a fully equipped, we have all the tools, we have cars, we have hoists, we have everything you need to learn about cars. And coming in, you really don't need to know how cars work. Just ask Destiny Eden what she do on her first day. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't know the difference between a brake pad and an air filter. Now, she knows more about cars than most people, including her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, in a situation every once in a while, like his ABS lights on, and he had to ask me why his back tires were locking up. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely really nice knowing that I have this knowledge and I can help other people, not just my boyfriend, but anybody. She also encourages other women to sign up. There's a lot of women that don't even know where to check their oil or that they have an air filter to prevent carbon from going into their engine. I mean, I didn't when I started. 
I've learned so much now, and now I can take care of my own regular maintenance, spark plugs, oil, wires, all that stuff. I can do it myself. Instructor Jim Morris is one of the region's top mechanics and says MCC's program is for everyone. And for those who just want some basic automotive knowledge, it'll just take seven months to get a certificate. If you really, really enjoy it, then you can go on to get your advanced cert, which is 12 months long. Um, you can graduate here in, in just 12 months with an advanced certificate and a basic certificate in automotive service technology. Tommy Doty already has a job at an auto shop. I am uh, what they call a G1, a repair tech, light repair tech. I do oil and lube and minor repairs. He enrolled here because he wants to learn more high-tech skills, and graduating and getting his certificates will mean more money in his pocket. I've already got a couple of my ASC cert certifications. My boss is approving of those and even rewarding me going to school by when I graduate talking a uh, higher pay scale so the paperwork does mean a higher pay scale than non-paper. Morris says the industry needs employees with the skills you'll learn here. I have a lot of dealerships that I speak with continuously, um, independent shops also. And they need good employees. If you come here and you come to the classes and you're on time and you do your work well, and you work well with others, I have plenty of jobs waiting for you guys. He makes sure MCC's auto shop is state of the art. And talk about value. Learning automotive service technology at MCC costs a fraction of what private trade schools charge. Their programs range anywhere from mid 20,000s to mid $30,000 in some of those programs. So our program is less than a quarter of the cost. And at MCC, you could qualify for financial aid, scholarships, grants, or take advantage of the payment plan. I'm grateful that I actually qualified for the Pell Grant, and it paid for all of my education. And the, what I got back in what they call a refund actually paid for my gas to travel to class, so it wasn't any type of real financial hardship. Equipment, training, low cost, plenty of job opportunities. MCC's automotive service technology program is only missing you. Love it. <laughs> Only missing you. That's fantastic. Well, and the truth of the matter is, is you don't know what you qualify for until you go in. No, That's absolutely. Right. Complete your FAFSA. It is your application to all of the scholarships available out there, even our um, foundation scholarships. Um, you got to fill out your FAFSA. You got to start somewhere. And that is, you don't have to accept it. You don't have to accept your loans. Um, but it gets you to the first step of understanding what you can pay for and what is available to you. So, And that can be done right in your own home. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We also have financial aid techs on um, each campus to assist you in filling out the FAFSA because sometimes that's hard. We don't know what we're doing. So and overwhelming. MCC <laughs> is here to assist you with all of that stuff. Like, that's just what we want to do. We want to help. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I think the nice thing is is that you guys are are local, and so it is very easy to go in and have a face, you know, because it does get overwhelming when you're filling out paperwork and definitely and yeah some absolutely. of the questions you know you're unsure of. So it's nice to know that you guys are there. Yeah, absolutely. We're here to support. We're here to help. Love mm -hmm. it. Um, we have our rad tech video, our radiology. If you like a dynamic work environment Radiological with tech good pay and great <laughs> career options, you should check out Radiologic Technology. It's exciting. There's always something new going on. You never have a boring day. Devin Porter was drawn to the MCC Rad Tech program because she wants a career in which she can help people. My brother actually had cancer when he was younger, and so they went through all the diagnostic imaging and stuff to find that. So. I just thought that, you know, getting into this field, you're able to help people and, you know, work with the community, various ages, and kind of make a difference. I like mixing things up. Joseph Alvarez took some time off after high school to figure out what career he really wanted. A lot of people, like, you don't like doing the same thing every day, but being able to, like, you go into x-ray, like, there's always going to be something different, especially if you're working in a hospital, you don't know what you're going to walk into. And I don't know, I think that's pretty cool, I guess, the excitement of it. Alvarez and Porter are just two of the many students reaping big benefits from MCC's great radiologic technology program. And once they graduate, they're, they're ready to be hired. MCC instructor Stacy Gilbert helps get students ready for work in hospitals and medical centers. They look at our students and I think they see a much higher quality student that we're putting out than they may see in a, a different technical school or a different school. All of the recent students she helped teach were hired within a month of graduating from MCC. It sends a really positive message to our, our students now. They can kind of already gauge by our, our recent graduates what's out there and what they have to look forward to. 
Arizona requires radiologic technologists have 1,800 clinical hours, which MCC students get at seven local hospitals and medical centers in Kingman, Bullhead City, Fort Mojave, Lake Havasu City, and Parker. 1,800 clinical hours, that's, that's tremendous. They're, they're getting so much um, hands-on time with patients and in the field. Um, they can, once they graduate and walk out of here, they can walk into probably any facility and be independent. Alvarez says enrolling at MCC for the Rad Tech program was one of the best decisions he's made. Even though it's challenging, he remembers what he learns in the classroom because he sees it put into action. You know you're gonna be using that stuff at the end of the day, you know, like where you're gonna go to clinical, so you know like the stuff you're learning, it's, it's obviously for a reason now. And like when people mostly learn math, they're like, oh, I'm not gonna use this, like this is the stuff like that we're gonna be using for the most part every single day. And a radiologic technology degree from MCC opens the door to many in-demand career options. It's in the medical fields, so they're always going to need it, and you can take it wherever you want. You can even do traveling, they have travel techs. So if I wanted to do, you can go, oh, I'm gonna do six months here in California. Then I'm gonna go six months to Oregon, six months to, they even have it in Hawaii. I mean, who doesn't wanna go to Hawaii? <laughs> so they also offer that, which is a great opportunity, or if you just wanna do it in one location and then kind of work your pay up from there. It's, it is crazy that just two years, especially for a medical degree, most people have to go a lot longer than that to get something that's gonna give you the same pay as you know, we're getting to the two-year degree, which is just incredible. I'm very, very happy they have this program here, and I'm telling everybody about it. So, yeah, it's a great opportunity. How exciting. Big two-year degree. Yeah, absolutely. It's big Something need. that never goes away, right? That's a job that... That's always going to be a need. Yeah. Yes. There's always going to be a need In for that. In the medical field, yes, absolutely. Um... Are we, gonna, are we gonna do the um, Mojave Minutes or we should we talk a little bit? Because I feel like we did a lot of videos. <laughs> yeah, I think the videos are very interesting and cool and it shows what you have to offer and also, you know, really focuses on the fact that um, it you don't always have to commit to a four or five year, you know, I think that's a little overwhelming as well. So again, until you go in and kind of see what you're interested in, you know, you don't really have those answers of how long, how much. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Do you have the um, how to apply flyer? Um, so if you go to mojave.edu uh, or apply.mojave.edu, mojave.edu is just a regular website um, where you can find all this information, um, but apply.mojave.edu is actually our, um, our website where you submit your application. Um, our flyer kind of goes through exactly what you need to do. Um, you create an account, you um, start your application, you complete your application, um, and uh, it's a free application. So you don't have to worry about you know yep. paying. If you have to pay, I'm sorry, <laughs> but MCC is free. <laughs> um, that flyer was actually our admissions specialist. Um, he does the What's Up Wednesday. Every Wednesday from 12 to 1, if you have any basic questions, just log on to our Zoom. The, the account and the passcode are right there. And anything you've got, we'll handle it for you. We'll answer the questions and get you the information you need to progress with your career. Yeah, because sometimes, like you said, sometimes it's just overwhelming to know what to do next. Um, and that's why they started the, the Zoom session on mm -hmm. Wednesdays to be able to come in and just ask those questions. Because you never know. Someone might have the same question or, you know, you never know. Yeah. yeah. So. Don't know until you go in. That's right. <laughs> don't know until you, you ask. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's a Zoom class. You don't even have to go in anymore. No, you can do yeah. it right from your, uh, right from right from your living room. <laughs> in your pajamas, if you like. You don't like. have no. to turn on your camera. Do you no. make them turn on your camera? No. no. No, they do not have to do that. As long as they can hear me and respond, that's that's all that's required. Yeah. Absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so when you fill out your, doc your um, application, we do need uh, documentation. What we're looking for is proof of um, citizenship and proof of social security card or number. Um, and that gets you in-state tuition. Our in-state tuition is much lower than out-of-state or even our WUI. Does anybody know what WUI means? No. <laughs> um, because <What's> we're <laughs> Because we're in surrounding states. Um, you can go to our, vo our view book. It's on, uh, let's see, I think page 13. Um, or it's like the seventh page, I'm not sure. Um, but our WUI is, because we're in um, kind of like the tri-state area where we border so many different states, yeah. um, it's a Western undergraduate 
undergraduate exchange program where they, you get a uh, adjusted tuition rate um, because we're on those borders and we want those students to still come to us and um, still have the opportunity to go to college so they get that discounted rate um, and then our out-of-state tuition. So, um, but yeah, that's what we're asking for. So <laughs> there it is. Um, so not quite as good as the in-state, but definitely better than the out-of-state for the WUI. Yes, exactly. exactly. So many options. Yes. Um, and then after completing your application, meet with an advisor so that you can decide what you want to do. Find a path, um, get into some classes, maybe talk out some different um, paths or options for you. Um, our um, advisors can be found on our website under Student Services and Advising to make an appointment, or you can just call MCC Connect. Very easy. Like I said, when I reached out to you, it was, you know, the contact happened very soon. My questions were answered. Felt so comfortable. We're able to set up the appointment to come and meet with you guys. I was like, okay, this was easier <laughs> than I thought. <laughs> nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to get yeah. intimidated by. I'm we'll not walk scared you through anymore. It. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. For parents who have students in high school, you know, that is, it, it does get kind of intimidating. You know, mm -hmm. you're encouraging your child to do this. So to be able to reach out to you guys and kind of be able to, you know, uh, battle that together was really nice. Yes, absolutely. And speaking of high school opportunities, let's talk about high school because that's my thing. I love it. <laughs> um, if you can show the um, dual enrollment flyer, it was actually just posted on social media from the high school. Um, the Crush School District. Um, and just to clarify, this is for students that are interested in dual enrollment. They've signed up with their counselors to go into dual enrollment um, for their following year or for this next year that starts in August or, yeah, August. Can we talk a little bit about what dual enrollment means? Absolutely, love to. Um, so dual enrollment is receiving high school credit and college credit at the same time. So it's within your high school day. You're taking classes with the teachers that, you're, that you know, um, with the students that you know. It's one-on-one, -on -one, it's face-to-face. -face. Um, you have all the opportunities of your high school and you have opportunities just being a, high, a college student because when you're in dual enrollment, Yes, you are a college student. <laughs> we talk about that all the time. Yeah. Um, so this dual enrollment is for um, the uh, Bullhead City students that are in high, participating high schools um, uh, for dual enrollment. It is on July 13th. Um, so if you're interested, contact me. I'm going to leave my information here um, so that everybody knows how to contact me so I can assist you and um, if you need to come. It is mandatory for students that are already uh, in dual enrollment, which means they, again, have met with their counselors, had told them, um, their counselors, that it's they the were flyer, interested. Jeff. I believe it's Flyer B. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> um, so, um, like I was saying, if they've met with their counselor and said that they were interested in taking dual enrollment for this coming year, um, they're a sophomore, a junior, a senior in high school, um, and they haven't already gone to our dual enrollment orientation, um, then they can come. So whether you've met with your advisor and already have this set or you want to do that, you want to come. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, to um, get the information, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, so. Uh, like I said, it was on, it's on um, July 13th. I think it's a Thursday. Um, we yes. have presentations on the hour every hour. So it starts at 2 and ends at 6. So last presentation is at 6. You can come at 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, and I'm going to be there. I'm going to be Lots talking. Of options, <laughs> again. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> um, and. Um, it's on the MCC campus, so it's on the in the 600 building. Uh, I think Darren's going to be there. I'm going to try to be. I need to help out, show some support. It's an amazing. <laughs> Darren, uh, Darren. <laughs> it's an amazing process, and that you know when I the first time I went to college uh, out of high school, we didn't have anything like that. So that yeah. blows my mind when I heard that you could have had classes and working toward your degree before you're even out of high school. I was just like. Okay. Wish I, I would have known that then. Wish, yeah. <laughs> well, I wish my college back in Michigan, they would have had that, but that yeah. was not something that they had. So this is just blows my mind how cool that is for the high school students to have that opportunity. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And um, Bullhead City isn't the only um, area and only campus um, for our community that offers dual enrollment, like Havasu, Bullhead. Obviously, I said Bullhead. Um, Kingman and North Mojave also have um, participating high schools that um, deal with dual enrollment too. So, yeah, 
So don't waste your time, get involved. And so um, just so you know that you can go to mojave.edu and go to um, high school opportunities um, and there's a complete list of schools that participate so if you have questions again i'm on the high, high school opportunities page so you can contact me or the high school recruiter that's in that area i love it i'm excited about that soccer camps the big horns like this is a big deal yes uh, we Even actually have apartments a right for uh, future future events. So not quite good to go yet, but yes, we are working on that as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We actually have a video from a coach. Do you have the soccer? About the soccer camps. Yeah, Coach Valencia's. Uh, the ones that were on Facebook, I believe, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's excited. He's, yeah, it's super nice. I've met him a few times. Um, my daughter actually went to college for soccer, so, and you know, at that nice. time it wasn't available to do it here, so pretty excited. Here we go. Today we'll do dribbling, second day we'll do pass and receive, and then the last day we'll finish with shooting because everybody wants to, wants to finish scoring goals. So that's, that's what we try to teach him in the, in the three days. Um, and so uh, July 20. So what's cool about the camp is... It to July 26th. Um, you can sign up now. Let me see what the, um, from ages five, five to, to 12. 12. Um, and you can go on athletics.mojave.edu to sign up or get more information for them too. You guys actually have a lot of summer classes that the young ones can do. Yeah, we just finished our last week of College for Kids um, and they had a blast. They m made some Oreo things. What were they making? They we were had making pictures uh, online. geometric <laughs> designs. Uh, we had a whole layout of pictures that they could reproduce. They were like uh, uh, little models, but we were having them use pretzel sticks, Oreo cookies, Twizzlers, and a few other items to do it. Oh, how fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They had a lot of fun. They had just as, mon as much fun eating it as they did uh, putting them together. <laughs> yes. They kept asking. They kept asking to eat it. It was pretty funny. You definitely have to keep them entertained, and that, yeah. that's a great way. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I wanted to take um, a little bit more time to talk about high school opportunities because dual enrollment is not the only high school opportunity for high school students to take advantage of. Um, we also have our WAVE program, which is um, Arizona Vocational, Western Arizona Vocational Education, or we just call it WAVE. Um, I do have a WAVE flyer. Um, they're a third party that assists students in the Mojave County area um, in taking college classes. They want them to take um, CTE-based, so hands-on learning, um, to further their career or understand, you know, different trades and um, get used to kind of, I don't know, being in a college environment. Um, they pay for tuition, fees, and books for the students. Um, and they, have pro they cover programs such as welding, automotive collision, automotive service, HVAC business, um, computer sciences, and uh, some wow. of our health and public safety classes as well. So they cover quite a bit. Again, if you're interested, please let me know. <laughs> I can assist you with that. And again, that is for high school um, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and even 13th year. We call 13th year, um, we call it 13th year, but when it's um, students that just graduated high school, some of our programs WAVE will continue to pay for in that 13th year. So that's pretty exciting too. That is. I think, you know, overwhelmingly money kind of it always plays a big part in, you know, what your options are. So to know that there's so many different programs. Yes. There just, there really is. So basically it's just kind of getting your information into your guys' system and then being able to come and talk to you guys and really yes. see where those options take. I also think these kinds of programs are nice too because when you're young, you don't always know exactly what you want to do and what you think you might want to do. You yes. can get in and try and maybe that works for you or maybe you find that that doesn't, you know? Yeah, and that's what I tell high school students all the time is like, if you if you have an inkling in f to figure out or find out if that's something that you're interested in, take the class, see how it is, finish the class, and if you don't want to continue in that, you don't have to. Yeah. We can try something else. Um, Wave is really good about having students just figure out what they're interested in and then moving on from that. You know, if they want to continue or if they want to try something different, um, it's really great. 
so many options. Yeah. We even for the adult side of the house, we have something called Taco, which is take a class on us to get you one free little class to get you understanding the school environment. If it's been a while since you've been in school, whether you went to college out of high school or you didn't, it gets the adult community back in there to give them a, you know, give them just a love little taste of it. That. Yeah, I love I that. Love, that's wonderful. That's so good to know. That's so good to know. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, the fear usually stops us. So I think what we're really learning today is that there's no reason to fear. Nope. Not <laughs> doing at all. your education and, you know, no. doing something different, reaching out. Even if you're, you know, doing your job and you want to, you know, kind of jump into a different field, it's a great time. I mean, you can get take a class for free. That's you can right. start there. You can see really what, what maybe your future holds for you. Oh, look oh there, well, there we go. It is. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, that's a, I think that's a great program, especially for the, the older people that maybe think that they can't do this. But take a free class, see what you think. You may find that it's not really that bad at all, and you can find a new career or you can advance in the career that you're in. Well, and I, what I'm learning really with my son doing this is that um, you don't always have to go into class. Most of, a lot of things can be done online as well. Yeah. So, Absolutely. you know, maybe the overwhelmingness of not having time to go sit in a classroom setting you actually can do a lot online. Yes, you can. Yeah, we have a lot of modalities for students to take classes. We have Zoom classes where if you still want that interaction with your instructor, you can have scheduled Zoom classes that where you meet once a week with your instructor, up to twice a week, I believe, um, and still have that interaction. Um, or fully online where you're just doing it as you go within the week of completing your um, discussions and your assignments and your essays and things like that. Or you can go fully on ground um, where you go to class every day you come to the mcc campus and you um hang out with other students yeah. <laughs> Get that whole experience. well it sounds like you have based everything about around everyone what works for them so yes. there's you know the options are there yes we're here for the community that's why we're here that's why we you know improve lives improve um, opportunity for all of our community for each community that our um, campuses are on we're really here to try to give what the community needs. So, all you gotta do is show up for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, our, e our ESS, our Early Start Scholarship, is also um, a high school mm -hmm. opportunity. Um, you can start using that in the um, the summer after your sophomore year. Um, MCC pays for the tuition and the student fees of the class and then um, students are responsible for your books and then any additional fees so if students are taking like a science class and they pay for the lab fee um, but this you can use up to eight semesters so oh, wow. summer through um, junior year summer after junior year through senior year and then after you graduate this summer and fall after you graduate so eight semesters um, that you can use this scholarship and it's automatic just you just have to be in high school <laughs> or wow. you have to be wow. high school age and in um, um, and working towards your degree or not your degree sorry your um, high school um, what is it called your your high school degree diploma, diploma. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, so you could really start as a sophomore. You can start yes. as a sophomore. In WAVE, you can do uh, classes um, in your sophomore year. And then after your sophomore year in that summer, you can start using Early Start Scholarship, which um, oh. kind of makes up for um, those general education classes. Because WAVE doesn't pay for the general education classes, like I was mentioning. They pay for the CTE classes. So um, your welding, your automotive, your things like that, um, where it's hands-on. And then your Early Start Scholarship can supplement with some of those um, basic um, general education classes. We kind of what was I going to say? We kind of um, work towards our AJAC, which is our Arizona curriculum, um, general education curriculum, where it's the first year of college that you're working towards. Um, same with dual enrollment. That's kind of what we work towards. Um, and those classes are transferable to ASU, NAU, U of A. Um, and those Very are your cool. general education classes. So you're getting your English, your math, your science, your arts and humanities, social and behavioral. Um, and that'll get you that first year, save a whole bunch of money. Yeah. <laughs> well, knock out the boring stuff. And really, yeah. when you get into college, you get to 
do what you want. Yeah, you know? when you go to university, you can really focus on what you're interested in. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that is the point of the AJAC is to to progress on. So you're knocking out the uh, the basic requirements first, so that when you go to the four year, you're you're going. Um, degree specific yes yes but also our AJAC is um, centered towards some of our associates degrees so um, our liberal arts degree our um, life science um, degree um, business degree so we have an AJAC that's kind of well right now specific to what you want to do so we have a general education curriculum uh, general general education Ajax, sorry, it was a mouthful. Um, <laughs> then we have a business that's centered towards, you know, business classes, um, and then we have one that's centered towards science. So that whatever nice. pathway you want to take, yeah. you can start on the Ajax um, and then move forward. No reason not to do it is what you're telling me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, we can show that um, uh, Mojave Minutes video. That's our current events. That's our last. Um, uh, kind of what's been going on at the college. Is that the newscast? Yes, okay. yes. First up. MCC graduate Casey Frank set the stage with a terrific national anthem solo as graduates, their families, friends, and college employees celebrate the class of 2023. More than 600 graduates earned degrees and certificates this year. The commencement ceremony at the Anderson Fieldhouse was filled with cheers and tears as everyone recognized the memorable moment marking a major life accomplishment. You have challenged yourself and found success. Continue to challenge yourself and find ways you can give back to your community. And as always, remember, you are Bighorns. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate this special occasion. Let's go have some fun. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations also went out to Adam Romano. He was the recipient of the Kathy Hodel Most Outstanding Student $10,000 Award. Also, hats off to student speaker and all Arizona academic team member Ian Fleming, as well as Lakari Service to Students Award winner, nursing instructor Beth Hooven. Guest speaker, retired state lawmaker Regina Cobb, who was also instrumental in bringing the dental program to MCC, was presented with the Founders Award. And of course, one of the many fun highlights, MCC President Dr. Stacy Klippenstein's selfies with students and faculty. Prior to commencement, graduates in the health professions held their special pinning ceremonies, including this one at the London Bridge Resort in Havasu. Students are recognized for successfully completing their programs. These ceremonies are traditionally smaller, more personal events for family, friends, and employees to celebrate the graduates. For more information about starting on the path to a great career in the health professions, like all of these graduates did, just head to mojave.edu. Then, in the middle of the homepage, click Health and Public Services. Then you can browse all the college programs and click those that interest you. Congratulations to MCC student Jasmine Garcia. The Lake Havasu City Campus student has been selected as a Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society International Officer. She's the Vice President for Division IV, which is one of the highest leadership positions a student can achieve in the Honor Society. She is the first ever from Northwestern Arizona to earn a position at this level. A lot of great events helped finish a strong spring semester, including the Kingman Campus Computer Club MC4's annual recycle drive in partnership with the city of Kingman. People throughout the region brought old computers and other technology items to recycle. It was another wonderful and successful service for the community on behalf of MCC students and college partners. Students with the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society held a talent show on the Kingman campus. People with a variety of special skills were able to show them off and proceeds from this event helped benefit the Mojave County Animal Shelter. The Bullhead City Campus held its annual Spring College Days. A lot of fun activities on campus for students, including jousting, playing frisbee golf, and of course, plenty of good food. The College Bighorn Science Club held a science fair. Community members were able to learn all about telescopes, see robots built with Legos, and much more to help boost the interest in the field of science. 
Who's the racist grandpa of the party? A terrific time at the very entertaining Dueling Pianos event. The Student Activities Council brought the duo to the Kingman campus from Phoenix. These musicians performed a lot of songs and took requests from the audience. The Bighorn Athletics Booster Club held another successful fundraiser for the soccer teams. The tournament was held at the Surbat Cliffs Golf Course in Kingman. Keep an eye out on social media and the local media for the next Booster Club fundraiser, as well as the college website, athletics.mojave.edu, where you can also find contact information for the booster officers. And Mascot Blaze was on hand to congratulate the 19 MCC employees who graduated from the second annual Bighorn Leadership Academy. The Academy puts college employees through a series of classes during the year in which they learn to become successful leaders in higher education. And last but not least, a round of applause for Tracy Gift, Abigail Gomez, Caitlin Morris, Stacy Gilbert, Chuck McCune, and Michelle Martin. They were all recognized at a recent cabinet meeting for their work on a K-12 pipeline project with Danette Bristol and Jason Gee. It included work to get fifth graders in Bullhead City to understand the importance of higher education. Stay up to date with college news and events by following the MCC social media pages, website, and YouTube channel where you can see every newscast. And don't forget, if you have a story idea, send it to mcc at mojave.edu. Hey, that was you on there. That How was exciting. Me. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, we worked with, um, with uh, fifth grade students to kind of get them excited about high school. Um, high school. Goodness gracious. Um, about college? college. Um, and uh, we kind of went to their classes every month and talked to them about, you know, different things, being a good human and um, what to do to um you know, set goals, how to set goals, how to treat people, how to be a good human. <laughs> like I all those love things. it. So it was really fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, one more opportunity that I wanted to discuss yes. with high school. <laughs> Sorry, it's my thing. No, yeah. Um, so when you're a high school senior, you can be eligible for a um, academic scholarship. Um, so going into your senior year, take it seriously <laughs> um, because um, with a GPA of a 2.5 or higher MCC will provide you with a um, scholarship to use at MCC up to four thousand dollars to use at MCC so nice. very exciting very exciting stuff um, and then Darren wanted to talk about community and corporate a little education. bit of yeah community and corporate education yeah. I, I did want to take a moment that uh, during the uh, graduation ceremony that we had that Adam that got the uh, ten thousand yeah He's my counterpart for the Lake Havasu. So he went from graduating to working to for working. MCC. Look at that. <laughs> it's endless opportunities. Endless, endless, endless. opportunities. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> so anyway, the college has a community and corporate education division. Uh, the community education offers a lot of non-credit uh, informative classes that are a little bit fun. There's no grades and they range from anywhere from jewelry making to CPR. With the corporate education division, we have, uh, you can learn important communication techniques, how to work in a team environment, and you can learn some leadership skills MCC also can customize a professional training program for your company. Wow. And the four campuses also offer unique programs to serve the community. We've got over 80 degrees and certificates. For example, on the Bullhead City campus, we've got our automotive, our culinary, radiologic technician, which we've gone over. Uh, we also have transfer opportunities for your institutions. And it should also be noted that for our health and our career and technical education, or CTE, the programs have a nearly 100% success rate at finding work within 12 months of graduating. Nice. So, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. And then speaking of successes, we have our IMMCC. We have an example of one of our former students talking about his experience at MCC. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> My family had me on the college, so for me, this was new. I was able to get a small scholarship for Mojave Community College. And so um, after high school, I started taking my core classes. I knew that I needed to start getting towards at least getting my AA degree. That was my, my focus. So I started taking courses for an administration of justice degree. Um, and that was really getting my foot in the door that, okay, I needed to continue on with my furthering the education. Ultimately, um, back in uh, 2021, I ended up graduating with my master's degree in public administration. Having that flexibility 
uh, to be able to pick my schedule was huge for me at that time. I could time it where I could get to my classes and not have to worry about the scheduling of my work. In the dual enrollment program, my son took advantage of that. I truly encourage uh, the youth to take advantage of that. Um, that's a huge um, advantage to get some core credits completed before you even graduate high school. That's amazing. And so to not take advantage of that is, 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 is foolish, really. My advice to people as I tell the story is when you start school, don't stop. Okay, because it's so easy to find excuses of not to continue your education. There's always gonna be something that gets in the way, so just keep plugging away. It is awesome, and obviously our, our focus is always, we want people to be successful. Um, unfortunately, sometimes um, we have to intervene in, in times that aren't so good in a person's life, right? Um, so the rewarding side is seeing people succeed even after going down a dark road. Uh, one of my philosophies is doing as much as we can within the community, right? And so um, we need to rely on our community. Our community is our support system. We have a very supportive uh, community of our law enforcement here. We're very fortunate of that. Because we're funded by our tax dollars. Right, so we work for our community, and so um, that's our focus. I am Police Chief Troy Sterling, and I am MCC. That's super cool. How exciting. Never too late. No, nope. never too late. So if you're interested in taking college classes, please contact us. Like I said, we're going to give um, a Christy, all of our information, yep. and you can always go on to Mojave.edu if you have any questions, concerns, what's up Wednesday. Every Wednesday, <laughs> 12 yes. to 1, we'll be there to answer questions. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much. So much information. I hope we've answered some of your questions. Again, if you have questions still, um, lots of options to get those answered. Mm -hmm. It's never too late, as we learned today, and let's encourage our children to, you know, really show up for themselves and Absolutely. sign up for these classes yes. and not waste any time. Thank Absolutely. you guys for showing up. Thank you. Thank you for having it's great us. Being yes, here. we're going to do some community spotlights with them so we are not done with Mojave <laughs> Community College. Um, but hey guys, shop local, support local, and happy Thursday. Have a good day. Bye.